a million dollars. Doesn't it just sound cool? It sounds good. Doesn't it just sound good? Oh. We want to talk to you about nine steps on building a million dollar business. It's something that we have done. We have nine steps, even if you are on minimum wage right now. So here's the deal, this isn't gonna be some boring nine steps, then these steps suck and you can never apply them and you're just gonna waste 20 minutes of your life watching this right. video. No, 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 that no. is not what this is gonna be. It is gonna be us, we're gonna list a step that we actually used yep. to get to building a million dollar yep. company. Then we're gonna list a quote from a cool person that you are gonna be able to remember and if, use if in your we day-to-day -day life. If we could find one. If we Some couldn't them, find we could one, mark. we couldn't. And then we are going to explain we'll how just... this has actually affected us and examples from the real world. Yep. Let's go. If we if 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 we couldn't find a quote, we'll just make one up on the spot, but you will know which one is which. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's just get started. Let's do it. I feel like this is big. Okay. Number one get started. Is get started. I didn't even know how to get started talking about getting started. How do you get started about talking about getting started? <laughs> you just get started. I got a quote though. I got a quote. Ready? Read the quote, Kale. The secret of getting ahead is getting started, Mark Twain. It's so good. Boom! It's so good. The Guys. secret to getting ahead. And we put this number one, not because, oh, you hear this all the time, just get started. This is actually true. The only reason we are re at this point where we are right now is yep. because we took small little steps to get started in yep. every single one of our businesses. Yep. If Kale had never taken the steps to actually buy a product, he would have never attracted me. No. If I had never taken these steps to reach out to Kale yeah. to talk to him, I would have not be here. No. It, so many people get hung up on this or hung up on that or hung up on this and don't ever go through with anything. We had the idea for a YouTube channel. I called him. I'm underneath the bridge. I'm like, we have to start a YouTube channel. He said, okay, I'll find a studio space. We had a studio within a week, filmed our first video within that week and put it up online. You just do it. You get started and see what happens, guys. That's just, oh, uh, just do it. Nike. Number two. That's another quote. Nike. Freaking Nike. Nike. Just do All it. All right, number two. What is it? Number two is... Find don't a market. Don't necessarily. Oh, hold on. This is key. Yeah, yeah. This is big. This is big time, okay? You don't have to have something novel. Oh my gosh. Find a market with high demand and make it better. I literally don't care if you don't watch the rest of this video. If you can just listen to this and the next time you're watching Shark Tank or you're thinking about an invention or an idea, you're like, oh, I don't have to sit on my couch and think of something totally novel and totally new. Hey, disclaimer, plot twist, attention. All of the novel, innovative, totally new ideas, they're gone. Get over it. Sorry. All Sorry to ruin your life. Okay, maybe there's some of you that can think of something totally innovative. But let me ask you this. But to get started. Let me, let me ask you okay, this. Okay, ask me, ask me. Real ask question. Me. Ask me. Was Apple the first company to think of a computer? No and yes. Is he ruining my point here? Okay, was Uber the first company to think of ride sharing? No, no. Was um, HP the first company to think of computers? No. Was this company that made this pillow the first company to think of making pillows? No. No. What happens today is you have, I literally have this on the back. This is not even planned. This is the background of my phone. This is how we made a million dollar company right here. I'm giving away the secret in the second one. My background on my phone says there are large companies to be built by offering new, innovative, and superior customer experiences to large markets regardless, regardless of how competitive the sector already is or how successful the founders have been before. This has been my background for nine months. I will post this, I will post a screenshot that is so bright. It's on there, people. And what that means is, okay, let me just break this down. Break it down. Amazon FBA. Amazon okay? FBA. People say it's saturated. People say there's too many people selling That's a on. bunch of baloney. I read this quote and this quote told me that there are large companies to be built by offering new innovative experiences to large markets. The largest market in the entire world is Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA. We offered an innovative experience with our products and we made a lot of money. Okay, company number two, YouTube. Yep. There are a lot of YouTubers. There are. People say it's hard to start a YouTube channel in 2018. There's a lot of people talking about Amazon FBA in 2018. Guess what guys? There are large companies to be built offering a new experience. I think we offered something new. I think, yeah. Honey Badger Boost. Yep. I, should I just keep going? Honey Badger Boost. Is there companies that offer product photography? Yes. Are they totally tailored to Amazon FBA? Maybe. Are there ones that do that really, really well? Not really. So that's how we found it and we made it bigger and better. Guys, that's the key. Can't even say anything. We're just gonna go on to number three. <laughs>
Number three is literally start small. Okay, I need you to follow me. Here's a quote from Gary Vee. Yep. It says, wait, it was here and then it went away. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Gary Vee quote, even if your ambitions are huge, start slow, start small, build gradually, build smart. Wow. Okay. And here's what this means. When I say start small, okay, I mean that if you have a billion dollar idea, if you're like, I'm going to come out with the next Facebook. Yeah. Okay, which is unrealistic, by the way. But I'm going to come up with the next Facebook. I'm going to be the next richest man on the planet, whatever, okay? Well, here's the thing. There's still a first step. Yep, so true. There's still a second step. Yep. You don't go from where you're at right now to Bill Gates. Yep. You don't go from where you're at right now to Warren Buffett in one day. That's right. In two days, in three years. No. That's not how it it's works. It's another Gary. I, I'll, you can keep going. Sorry. Hold on to your thought. It's another Gary V quote right there that says clouds and dirt. He says his life is a mixture of what our next step we're going to talk about is. It's the clouds. It's the big dreams and the big vision and also getting down in the dirt. So that's that's what this is that you're talking about, right? Absolutely. These little small steps, getting down and actually doing the little dirty work that is necessary to get started. Absolutely. You have to start small. You got to take it step by step. That's what we did. That's what we're continuing to do. Yep. We keep mentioning in videos how we have this fourth company coming. <laughs> we have this big thing coming. Okay. Well, we can't talk about it yet because we're not at that step yet. Yeah. We're on the step where right now. The actual idea is still getting fleshed out. Yep. You have to understand this. We're still at this, this beginning step. Yep. Start small, but number four. Ooh. Are we on number four or number three? We're on number four. Number four is dream big, guys. Dream big. This is another big, huge key to actually where we've been and where we are going is the book, The 10 Times Rule, right? I learned in The 10 Times Rule to set a goal 10 times higher than I'm comfortable with and then work 10 times harder than I think it, I, I will need to in order to achieve that goal. So for instance, our overall goal as a partnership, as a company, me and this dude right here, is to form a billion dollar brand. I actually shot for a $10 billion brand because then even if we fall short of that, we're still billionaires and call us crazy, whatever. I'm, I'm 25, how old are you? 26, 26, yeah. So we'll probably have this footage in a few years whenever we're able to like see if this actually happened, but like we're yep. calling it, we're saying it here and talk about a dream that we're actually gonna just tell you it. I wanna like, okay, so the other day we were um, in this new studio that's all behind us. We put a new video up about it. Yeah. We had some friends over here that were helping us paint, okay? Mm -hmm. And one of them was like taking, he took an Instagram story of like around the office and the, the like caption on the Instagram story was hanging out with future millionaires, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I told him, I yeah. said, I saw the story on my phone, I was taking a break, drinking some water, and I said, hey, yeah. bro, you made a mistake. And he was yeah. like, what do you mean I made a Sorry. mistake? And I was like, literally, you made a mistake, there needs to be a B there. <laughs> That's right. Hanging out with future billionaires. And he yeah. was like, wow. And I was like, listen, we're not being arrogant. Yeah. We're not being cocky. We're speaking it into existence. We're putting the work to go make it happen and it's yep. gonna happen. And that is why we haven't stopped and gone and bought something ridiculous that yep. put us back by six months. No. It's because we're thinking about a year down the road, three years down the road, 10 yep. years down the road. We're not thinking about right now yep. and that's what sets Instead you Instead of buying you Ferraris, apart. we put red Ferrari red paint on the wall so that we can have a place to have a company and grow this company. And then there's also this freaking, and this shows you how serious we are. This is how we actually talk and actually believe, okay? There's another room over here through this hallway. It, there's an extra 5,000 square feet attached to what we have here that we are going to move into in the next six months guaranteed when this new company launches, but whatever. There's a conference room in there. And the first time I walked in there, Taylor wasn't there, I don't know what, we were moving. I, I looked at Thomas and I said, bro, I'm gonna sit at a table in this conference room and I'm going to sign a company to sell, I'm gonna sign a check, sign a contract, whatever, to sell this company for upwards of $100 million in this room right now. And like Thomas was like, you know, like he, even Thomas kind of looked at me like, like you're crazy. But that's how nuts your dreams have to yep. be, guys. Yep. Because even if you fall short, even if you miss it, you're still going to be so, so much better off. Yep. So step number five is always make your business, whatever you're doing, yep. scalable. 
That's so good. Okay, this is key because you can't take something from small to really, really big if it's not scalable. And what's crazy is, Sorry. is I have this quote that Kel keeps messing with. <laughs> and so this quote is from Jane Werwand, okay? Yeah. She is a CEO of Dermalogica. I don't know what she does, but she's a CEO, so I want to listen to her. Yep. She said this, your business is scaling your business. Wow. Think That's, about that. The crazy part, bro, though, is that since we first started, like I'm talking the first time we sat down to have like lunch and talk about Amazon FBA. Yep. He's always been telling me this, that we have to, if we're going to grow into a company that is seven, eight, nine, ten figures, we have to treat it like a company that's seven, eight, nine figures. Correct. That he did that. This wasn't me guys, but it's the truth. Like an example that we, we just talked about yesterday. Okay. We're sitting in the conference room back here and we're having a meeting about YouTube and planning, right? And how we're gonna go daily, how we're gonna bring you guys this content. I wanted to get like an app that we could all kind of coordinate with and keep it all together. And Taylor said, what would a billion dollar company do? And that's what we did. We got G Suite, which is like a, you know, it's like Office. So you either do Google Suite or you do Office Microsoft. 365. Yeah, yeah, Office 365. So now we have Kale at the company name, Taylor at the company name, Emily at the company name. and it's. It's just little stuff like that, but it's so scalable, guys. Every decision has to be scalable. If you're yeah. gonna release a product, how would you act if you sold one a day versus how would you act if you sold a thousand a day? Yeah. You need to act the same way for both. That's right. It's this whole thing, you know, it's the whole thing of there's always been this like mantra of like dress for the job that you want, not the job that you have. Yeah. So like if you're if you're like some low level employee sitting in a cubicle somewhere, like don't wear jeans and a polo shirt because it's okay. Wear a suit and tie every day because the CEO wears a suit and tie every day. That's right. Right? So true. Think about where you want to be. Act that way. That's right. Number six, reinvest profits. We were actually going to make the whole video on reinvesting profits, but we thought of so many other gems we had to give to you guys. So this is number six, and this was going to be a whole video. So check this out. Is we it reinvest everything. Reinvest everything. I literally make enough money to... I have a nice apartment, okay, but my, my fiance is also a pharmacist, so that's fine. We don't, it's not that crazy. I have enough, I make them enough money to eat. That's basically the, the salary that I'm taking from this place. And like I, like we said, it's a seven figure company, okay? I could be, we could be driving around nice cars, we could be doing all this crazy stuff, but we're not. Yep. Here's a quote from this guy named Paul Pilzer. It says, before you invest in anything else, exhaust the possibilities of investing in your own business first. Okay, exhaust the possibilities because this plays into everything, everything, everything of dream big, making everything scalable, right? Yeah. If you don't have money to reinvest, you can't scale anything because you can't make it any bigger. That's right. If you don't have the money to reinvest, you can't dream big because it's never going to be reality and it seems so far away from you. Yep. But when you reinvest everything, okay, mm -hmm. this is this is literally what we're doing. We're going from one business. Yep. To the next business. And then with both of those to the third business. And then with all three of those to the next business. Yep. Okay. And every time you get a little bit more money, irregardless of which one actually makes the most money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The first one could make the most money and more make more money than the second one, more money than the third one. Okay. Yep. But you're adding more and more profits on and I'm telling you it changes your life. And so I, even when you look at – when we can boil this back down to like even if I wanted to boil it down to Amazon FBA. Yeah. Okay. Use your profits from your first product to get reinvest them into product. your second product. Yes. Use the profits from your first and second product to reinvest into a third product. Which is what we did. That's how and we built our Amazon FBA let's, business. Let's take this to the real, another real world, real world example. You guys watch- Real world. Real world. You guys watch Shark Tank? Every time a, a business owner comes into Shark Tank yep. and they say, they always ask them this. I always found this so weird. Mark Cuban will always ask, how much are you paying yourself? How much are you paying yourself? And, the, and if someone says like, oh, I'm making 150 grand a year, he immediately goes out every single time because he wants to invest with someone who is all in, who is reinvesting all of their money into their business because that shows that number one, they're dedicated. Number one, they're, and number two, they're really, really smart. So literal, literal billionaires who do shark investing want to see you reinvesting. Yep, yep. All right, number seven. Okay, I think that this is a really, really big one, and I think yeah. it's one that people overlook a lot. Okay, so number seven is surround yourself with people who have different strengths than you. Okay, mm -hmm. whether that be a partner, whether that be employees, whether that be the people that you work with, yeah. surround people that have surround yourself with people who have different strengths. Richard Branson, yeah. 
Founder of Virgin Group, Virgin Mobile, Virgin Airlines, everything. He's a billionaire. He has an island. Surround yourself with people who compliment your weaknesses and share your passion. Success will follow. Okay? So, when we look at myself and Kev, okay, we compliment each other. Yeah. Okay? Kale is much more big vision, visionary, going to think. Kale is thinking about where we're going to be at in two years. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am much more execution. I'm going to, I, when Kale says, okay, this is where we should be in two years. I say, okay, this is the steps we need to make in the next six months, steps we need to make in the next year, steps that we need to make in the next year and a half to be where the vision is for the next and two years. And we don't years. just make this stuff up and we don't just talk to a camera about it, okay? No, this is Literally, real life. I walked into the office the other day with the idea for the fourth company. Yep. And I said, Taylor, this is the idea. Yep. And then the next day, he was on the phone with a company that could make it happen. We sat down, we signed a contract, it's going to happen. I wouldn't have done, like, I could have got that done maybe on my own, but like having Taylor here to execute vision and to, and to make something happen is so valuable. So find a partner who compliments you. But I, I want to add on to this a, a Casey Neistat quote, okay? You guys know who Casey Neistat is? He says, Amazing. only do business with people you like. Yes. Because if me and Taylor hated each other and had to come in to work with each other, it doesn't matter how much we yep. compliment each other. You have to do business with people you enjoy being yep. around. And I think that there's so much more to this, and I think that we could honestly make an entire video we probably on this. Will. Yeah. If you want us to make a video on this, comment down below. But you know what? It, it goes further. Emily, who's our office manager, Emily is like organization freak. Yeah. Okay, if Kale's doing two years out, I'm doing six months out. Emily She's is what do we need to do next today? Second. Today to make the vision happen two years, okay? There are also this is this is almost a caveat that I want to put, kind of like Kel just did. Make sure you're doing it with people that you like, okay? When you work in an environment or you have an environment where people have different strengths, mm -hmm. you will headbutt with each other. Yeah, you will. You will get frustrated with each other. You will have arguments, whatever, yep. okay? But that does not mean that it's not working. That doesn't mean that it's not good. It's actually really helpful. When we have argued before... And it's turned into lots of money. And I feel like by the end of like what we're talking about, like by the end of the disagreement... Both of us have had like four more ideas of how to make everything better, how to yeah. make more money, and how to reach more people. We literally had an argument the other day walking to a meeting, and we were, <laughs> I was like, I'm frustrated, I'm mad, do this, do that, whatever. We came back down, we sat down as a company, and we developed this new strategy. That is literally why we are talking to you guys every single day. Yep. Yep. All right. We beat on that one enough. Okay. This one, number eight, is something that we have said before we've talked about it in other videos it's crucial on amazon fba but yep. it's so practical to everything okay yep market better than your competition market better than okay your competition. notice how that doesn't focus on your competition it doesn't say um my competition is too they have 100 employees i could never compete with them Bullshit. they have amazing photos i could never compete with them it's just saying how can i market it better and the definition of marketing is how can I get more people in front of it, but more importantly, how can I get more people in front of it who will buy? It? That's right. Okay, so we have Honey Badger Boost, right? Yep. We talk about listings, titles, descriptions, back-end keywords, pictures, okay? Yep. Because think about when you go to buy something on Amazon. You don't buy something that has no pictures or crappy pictures. Heck no. You buy stuff that has good pictures that you can look at, that you know what it is. Yep. I, there's so many times that I go on Amazon and I start looking through stuff and I have to scroll through, scroll through, scroll through questions and reviews mm -hmm. like on Amazon to figure out an answer to a question where it should have just been in the description to should begin with. The picture, yeah. If you market better than your competition, no one can stop you. There's a, there's a company, I think we actually talked about it in one of our other videos, but there's a company called Wish. Yeah. Okay. They're an online shopping company. Yeah. Okay. They went from zero dollars to being a two billion, two billion in revenue, two yes. billion in revenue yes. dollar company, Facebook just ads. with Facebook ads. That's it. And that's, no radio, that's literally marketing. No TV, no nothing, just Facebook and guy, ads. And guys, and people think that like um, you, you, a normal human can't market better than a big company. Yes. And like, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that, but we have the ability now to market Honey Badger Boost better than our competitors through Facebook ads, through Instagram ads, because not, I'm not just saying that because I think we're awesome. I've, I've 
analyzed our competition so much and I've seen what they're doing and I've seen kind of the engagement that they're getting and I know we can crush them and they're so much bigger than us. It's so weird. Here's something I want, here's something I can, I can comment on that, right? Big companies have bureaucracy. Yeah. Big companies have to get approval and they have to make, make this and yeah. allocate money here and go and push this. Yep. When you're by yourself, when you're an entrepreneur, when you're in a place where Kel and I are at, we can move on the flip of a dime. Yep. Some, we come up with an idea, then it, we just go and do it. Yeah. We don't have to wait for somebody to say, hey, um, if we did this, it might work. Can we have approval to do this? And then you have to wait three weeks so you can get a meeting with the big dog. Right. And like, it's just bureaucracy and it doesn't work. So we've, okay, before we move on, you guys liking these tips, I promised you that it was gonna be engaging. It yep. wasn't gonna be fluff. It was gonna yep. be actual knowledge. You guys digging this? Okay, cool. Comment below if you're digging it. Kale, what is number nine? Number nine, oh, I love this one. Don't care about what other people think. This is my favorite thing ever. Guys, other people are, are just kind of normal. I mean, I, I hate to say this, but most of the people in your life, and you can kind of think about this to yourself, most of the people in your life are not overachievers. They're not like going out and starting a business. They're not someone who's gonna take in an exceptional amount of risk. They're not gonna go out and and do anything against the status quo. They're gonna try to kind of blend in and be a part of the Hence community. Hence the word average. Yeah, they're gonna be, they're gonna make an average amount of money, they're gonna live in an average house, they're gonna have an average life, and they're gonna, it's gonna be fine. That, that's cool, I guess. But those people, like this is the mindset you need to change. The people that have average also want you to have average because that makes them feel better about their average stuff. Yep. And I hate, and I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not saying those people are evil or mad. They, they, just, they just want you to be like them because yep. when you're like them, it's more fun. It's, yep. you're, you're, it's, you're more friendly, it's weird it's for them. It's comfort zone. Yes. Listen, I've got this quote and this quote is killer. You're not gonna believe who it's from, okay? Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. <laughs> so good. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> it's Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Those wow. who mind, those who care what you're doing, yeah. don't matter. Yep. Those who matter don't care. And you know what? We've gotten so many people just, like, not as much as some other people, but there are people talking trash, talking about how yeah. we don't really do the things we say we're doing, we're lying, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't care. I don't either. I don't care. If I cared what people thought, then we would have never been where we're at right now. Yeah, if I would have listened to the first person who said, I think it probably was my mom. Love you, mom. Love you so much. I love you too. But my mom is like a conservative. You know, she's from the Midwest. She grew up on a farm. Like, they went to work, they came home. Like, that kind of thing, right? So when I told her I was starting an Amazon FBA business, she said, are you going to go bankrupt and be moving in in my basement soon? Like that's kind of the attitude it was. It was like she thought it was crazy, thought it was nuts. And I didn't listen to that noise because I knew that that's not her expertise. She loves me so much, but her expertise is not business. You got to listen to the to the one that you actually trust yep. the most, which happens to be yourself at yep. this point. Get out of your comfort zone. Don't care what other people say. Don't care what other people are thinking or doing. It's not only don't care about what other people think about you, don't yeah. care what somebody down the road is doing either. Yeah. Because you can market better than them. Yep. Because you started small, but you're dreaming big, and it's way too big, and it's already scalable, and you're already reinvesting, and you've already gotten started. I'm telling you, these, when we, when we first read off these steps, they can seem so simple. Yep. So minute. But here's the thing. I guarantee 100% if I could offer a money back guarantee on this video I 100% would money back guarantee that if you start a business and you use these nine things there's no telling where you will go seriously I think that Man, was Dr. Seuss too it was but can I can I can I get really real for a second really really real yes all right the other day so the other day is my wife's birthday okay it's my wife's birthday um, my wife is broke. You guys have seen her. She's incredible. She was just here at the office. She just yep. left. She's amazing. And um, I had gotten... No, no, no. It was actually an Instagram post. You guys can actually go and check this. It's on my Instagram. But I had written this post out for my wife's birthday. And at the bottom of my Instagram post, it said, You deserve the moon, 
You deserve the planet, the earth. you deserve Earth, or no, you deserve something, something. You deserve the moon, the stars, and more than that, whatever. And I won't stop until I give it to you. And somebody saw that, and they came at me, and they messaged me, and they were like, "What are you talking about, dude? That's a bunch of baloney. That's so cheesy. That doesn't actually matter. Like, what? She deserves the moon and the stars. How can you give those to her?" Here's the deal. My wife does deserve everything because she's the most incredible person on the planet. And what Kale and I are doing, building a business, right? This is not so that we can look at our bank accounts and laugh and see all the money in there. It's not so that we can have a yacht and have supercars and go all over the world. Don't get me wrong. I want to do those things. Yeah. It seems like it would be really fun. Yeah, I probably will. But the reason we're doing what we're doing, the reason that we follow these steps, the reason that we reinvest, the reason that we dream big and we sound crazy sometimes, the reason that I want to promise my wife everything in the entire world that she could ever ask or think for because she deserves it is because we're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. We're going somewhere and we're using these nine steps, these nine things to take us and we literally don't know where it's taking us. And you know what? I think of people like Mark Cuban. Mm -hmm. I think of people like Elon Musk, right? Who started with one company, started the next one, then started the next one, then started the next one. And now all of a sudden, Elon Musk car is in space. <laughs> Literally. So if you want to tell me that I can't get to the moon and I can't get to the stars, you're full of crap because <laughs> Elon Musk is doing it and it's working. <laughs> All right, so that's that's it really. I mean, the, the, the battery pack just died because we were talking so long, but here's the deal. The coolest part I think of these nine steps is that once you actually start doing them and once you actually start learning how to do them, you start to believe in yourself yep. and your ability to do them to such a degree that now when I say that we're gonna be billionaires, I truly believe it because I've watched us scale it from zero to a thousand, a thousand to a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand to a million. And now I really don't see that gap as that big. And so I think you guys can do it too. I actually know you guys can do it too. So the last thing I wanna say, and I'm gonna start saying this at the beginning of every video because this is now becoming a podcast. You can listen to this in your car. You can listen to this wherever you are. Andy Frazella does this too. All of this stuff we just gave you is free, but any one of those nine tips, I really honestly believe could change your entire life. I really do believe that. So our only entry fee to listen to this content, to watch this content, is to tell one person about it, okay? So every time you get something from a video like this, if you got something yeah. from these nine tips, I need you to go and click the share button on YouTube, click the share button on the iTunes podcast, and send it to a friend because we're trying to grow this movement and we're trying to help more people every single day. Absolutely. We love you guys. We thank you. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one.